Hey guys, welcome back to my channel, Dimma here, Beauty Wednesday today. In this video, I'm going to be sharing with you guys a tried and tested hack. I learned this earlier this year, and this hack will make your eyeshadow appear true to color, vibrant, every single time it's also a really affordable hack because what you need to achieve this not expensive you don't even have to go buy anything that you don't already have that's why i love it okay if you guys are looking at my eyes now i have eyeshadow i have blue eyeshadow however this eye looks more vibrant especially considering the palette that i used this one look more true to color than it does here on this end especially with the matte colors towards this end or towards the like outer corner of my eye the blues look a bit green considering my skin tone plus a couple of factors, it can be like that sometimes. This hack, however, or in this video, I'm going to show you guys how to make sure what you have in the palette is the actual color you get when you're done. I'm really excited about this and I think that a lot of you are going to find it helpful. So let's get to it. I've moved in a bit closely so that you guys can see. I also filled in my brows and used a concealer to define them. I don't think that that was needed for this tutorial, so I kind of did it off camera. I am going to be using a primer. This is the first thing I do before I ever go in with eyeshadow. This primer is the MAC Prep and Prime 24 Hour Extend Eye Base. This is my forever and ever go-to eyeshadow primer. It gets the job done, okay? I'm going to use this much not a lot okay and this is enough for the two eyes this is going to prevent oil from coming through and it will help your eyeshadow last long overall and prevent creasing I'm going to do every single thing that I'd normally do to my eyes up until the hack that actually makes the difference, okay? So for this look, I'll mainly be using the Huda Beauty Sapphire Obsessions palette. Okay, mostly I'll dip into another palette for maybe like a blending color and some brown, but this is the eyeshadow palette that I'll be using mostly. This eyeshadow primer actually dries clear and matte. It's legit dry at this point, okay? But in case you use a primer that needs setting, this is the best time to set, okay? Some dusting powder lightly, very lightly actually. I think I put too much on this eye, but very, 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 very lightly. At this point, the next thing would be to use a base for your eyeshadow and there are so many options, okay? You could use like an eyeshadow pencil or an eye pencil. This is the one by NYX. I don't even know if they still do these, but these are cream pencils that you apply and then you go over it with an eyeshadow. It just gives your eyeshadow something to adhere to and makes it more vibrant. That's the recommended thing. This is that jumbo pencil in milk right the problem with this however is that it comes in different shades and depending if you like to experiment with colors you would have to buy this in so many shades so that depending on what color of eyeshadow you want to use you have a base that like just kind of matches this white i think works only well for very very bright matte colors so i don't use this unless i'm using a very very bright matte color if you're using like a shimmer color you would have to get a corresponding base maybe brown maybe green maybe yellow but then you end up accumulating a lot of products just so that you have the required base sometimes the base can come in a tube like in a like lotion like formula uh I'm hoping that so there's this one I have here this one is by Pat McGrath and this is the astral blue star chroma Lux highlight cream okay I'm going to blend this out so that you guys just sees what it looks like but this is one of those creams that kind of reflects blue and if you put this on your lid area it will really emphasize your lid color and give whatever color it is you're putting on top of it something to sit on Another method, which is the more popular method here on YouTube, is to use a concealer. And this is my Too Faced Born This Way multi-use concealer. And this is also what I would normally use. I will be using it on this eye here, just this eye here, as I normally would, right? And then do the hack on this eye and show you guys the difference. I normally do three dots, okay? I start from here, two, three. This is what I would normally do. And I'll go in with a blending brush and then blend that out. and that's it okay so after i've applied the concealer i will set lightly i'm not setting everything i'm just going to focus on my crease okay i'm going to put some translucent powder 
on my crease so that the concealer does not crease up on me so like i told you guys what i'm doing on this eye is what i would normally do and i want you guys to really see the difference like you guys will be wowed okay by how different this eye would look so guys i really wanted to use the shade here from this particular palette but it broke off so i'll be using the palette that i showed you guys earlier but i'm going to do transition using this neutral brown here this nice brown and just Next, this blue here, okay, and we're going to apply this on my lid. With another shading brush, I will go in with this blue here. And then this very dark blue here. Okay, so don't worry about this. I'll use concealer to get rid of this. I'm not even going to bother, like I'm not going to use the brown again or oh, I didn't touch the brown that I had shown you guys earlier but this is this eye done I didn't also want to do one of those videos where you do the eyeshadow on one eye really poorly and then take your time with the other eye I'm going to do the exact same thing that I did here on this one and I want you guys to see the difference so what actually will make things way way different on this particular eye is the base that I'll be using. So what I'm going to do is, or what I would highly recommend, if you want your eyeshadow to pop, irrespective of the color that you want to use, without also breaking the bank and having to acquire like jumbo sticks and eyeshadow creams and just different colored like eyeshadow base that you can use depending on whatever eyeshadow you decide to use. I think that that's just a more expensive route. So what I'm going to do is to mix whatever color it is, you know that you want to apply on your eye area on your lid space mix it with the concealer okay mix it with the concealer that you would normally use as a base so you can use a spatula or anything that can just scrape eyeshadow off gently i'm going to use this here and i have alcohol i'm going to wipe it with alcohol first so just mentholated spirit okay wipe it off just make sure that you sanitize whatever it is you decide to use if you don't have a spatula and you're going to scrape some of that eyelid color on the back of your hand on whatever surface and mix it with the concealer just a little bit okay like this it should look like this so the same brush that i used to apply the concealer the previous time i'm going to use it to pat this on to my eyelid okay it's looking a bit green and that's fine considering the two colors that are involved if you're much much um lighter than i am and you're using a lighter concealer you might have something closer to blue but the darker your concealer is the more likely that it might look similar but not the same okay the same exact thing the same thing i did earlier i'm going to assess my crease a little bit with translucent powder and the translucent powder that i'm using or that i love to use is the laura messier translucent setting powder i'm going to have all the products that i have used or i will use in this video in the description box okay so please make sure to check there okay so that neutral shade that i used for transition earlier so i'm just going to repeat the same thing that i did here here so the first blue I hope you guys are just seeing how much like more pigmented this is compared to this okay the difference to me is just like mad always i'm going to go in with the second blue this one i reduced the isa a little bit just so that you guys can actually see what i'm saying more clearly okay And then this very dark blue. Can you 
can you guys see it's even looking like i have more eyeshadow on this eye whereas it's literally not the same it's the same area especially with this darkest color you guys can see that it's the same area that i apply the eyeshadow still but then it looks more vibrant and more visible on this eye can you guys see let me also just reduce this a little bit so that maybe it's more obvious can you guys see even just with how like vibrant the eyeshadow looks everything it just looks like i've done more here than i've done here whereas i did the same thing okay so let me finish this eye up i did this for the other eye but i'm just using like a like an off-white milk colored eyeshadow to set my brow bone area okay and in so many ways this even looks like this because i am using good eyeshadows like pigmented eyeshadows when it comes to eyeshadows like huda beauty to me is as good as it gets in the beauty industry when it comes to pigment and just the way that their shadows are just blending out any harsh lines i think that with this particular hack it is even more obvious when it comes to matte colors so i'm just going to apply some mascara Some people might be okay with this, but when you're trying to get your eyeshadows to appear as true to color as possible, you guys can see that this very dark blue, almost navy blue, it looks green here. It looks like a dark green or like a dark teal. You would never guess that this is a navy blue color. It looks closer to what it should actually look like here. And it is because of the color of the base that I used, you know, with this hack. So I think I'm going to do some lashes. Okay, so I've applied lashes to my two eyes. These don't look bad at all. Okay, so this is what they both look like. This eye just looks way more vibrant, okay? So guys, I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. I hope that you found this hack helpful. Try it and let me know what you think. But I think that you're really going to appreciate it. And also, aside the eyeshadow appearing true to color and all of that, with this hack, your eyeshadow also lasts. It lasts long, okay? So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Give it a thumbs up if you liked it and subscribe to me if you are not yet subscribed. I love you guys and I will see you in my next one. Mwah.